So you've got the number up there. Give us a call if anybody's out there in TV land. And we would love to give away. We're going to ask you a question about comedy. We would love to give away those tickets to the improv. I think uh, people really want to hear more about rim jobs than yeah, anything Yeah, I'm thinking else. rim jobs. Well, you guys want to show them what a rim job is? Uh, yeah. No, I don't want to practice on each other. I heard that you were the uh, godfather of rim jobs. Well, you know, I got to Is that you. where you got them brown tints on your beard? <laughs> on the tips? <laughs> them highlights? Honest, now, you know I only go out with 19, 20-year-old chicks. I am, I'm not into old girls. Uh, we should, you, know what, we, you know what? While we're on the subject of buttholes, I think we should talk about uh, PJ's little encounter with the boat or. Uh, you know, so you put you gotta keep You gotta fill me in because the rim job idea is not my idea, folks. It's the producer's idea. It was never my idea. Didn't even it know was, about it. It was actually the other producer that's not on well, the show. Well, then, whatever. But the bottom line is what are we talking about, the ore story? Let's hear it. Uh, is it a good story? Or yeah, oh, yeah. A yeah. uh, guy I used to work for, uh, him and his wife were, uh, I guess, uh, swingers, if you want to call them that. Quite filthy. Swingers! Quite filthy. Um, and he was always bringing me over his house to bang his wife. And uh, I, was, I asked him one time if he had any toys around so I could fuck her with him. And uh, he's like, I don't have any toys. Um, hold on, I got an idea. And he went into the other room and he came out with a fucking boat oar. <laughs> now tell, boat him what, tell him what kind it was. It was one it of was... them plastic, you know them blue and yellow boats? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That you put, like the ramps that you put in the pool in the ocean. It was one of them plastic boat oars. But it was big enough, it was wide. He it had wanted... to be about that big. It was good, it was good. It had some girth on it, man. <laughs> Had some girth, and uh, it actually had the ventilated rimage uh, probably on it, too. I asked him uh, what the hell he was doing. He said, yeah, it's yeah, a boat yeah. Yeah, He asked me if I had a rubber to put on it. Who puts a rubber on a boat oar? He's like, uh, he goes, you want you a rubber to put on it? I go, why? Uh, you know, it's kind of dirty. I'm like, does it really fucking matter? It's a boat oar. Does it matter if it's dirty? Does it really need a rubber? <laughs> it really doesn't. And she, I'll tell you what, we always said, I'm not going to say her name, but uh, we always said she had the uh, only woman in the world we knew who's... Uh, Whose asshole was loosening her pussy? Oh, hey! Wait, yeah. but tell her what you tell her, you tell her what you did with the boat, or oh, I jammed it in. It, at least in a, where? In her ass. <laughs> at least, probably that far in. And I tried to get it further, but I was hitting something. I don't know what it was. What? Could have been the base of her spine. <laughs> what was she doing during all this? Ah! Uh, 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 uh. He wanted me to jam a bottle up her ass. It's a wine bottle. I'm like, what if it breaks off in her butthole? How are you explain that to the fucking emergency room? When your kids show up and there's me, you, and their mother, and she's got a bottle broken off in her asshole. They can explain that I was there. What, what the hell was I doing? I'm, I'm supposed first call to explain the show to anybody. <laughs> That's a good point. That's the first call you made? All right, top that story, Johnny. Yeah, top 